Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we will discuss about how we can create a report in the Microsoft Fabric workspace. Okay, so let's go to workspace. And right now I have connected to my workspace. And here, let me quickly create the lake house. Uh, if you have seen the previous videos in the playlist, you know how to create lake house and everything. So I'm not explaining that I'm quickly creating it. Name it like maybe sample lake house. Hit enter to create the lake house. Once the lake house got created, I wanted to upload some data here, which is some sample files which I have in my system. So let me explain that. If I go to my system, there is a folder called sample files. Let me open that folder. So there is department file and employee file. Department file will contain data related to the departments and employee file contains data related to the employees. I will quickly show that as well after I upload this data into the fabric lake house. So let me go back to the fabric lake house here to load the data. We can use this upload option. You guys know that. So let me hit that upload files option and browse for my files. So I wanted to select both the files. So select that click open. So when I hit that upload button, technically I am taking my local data and loading it into the files of the lake house. So upload completed. So when I go to the files, I can see my both the files here, right? So I can preview also when I click that any CSV file, it will start giving the data in preview. And you can see that data preview, we have ID column and name column, which have few departments related information. Similarly, if I see the employee.csv file, there also I have employee information with the department ID. So every employee was connected with some department. Okay. So department and employees data, a classic data. So now what I want to do, if I see the tables folder, right now there is no tables created here. So I want to take these two files and create delta tables or lake house tables for that particular files. So what I can do right click on the file load to tables new table. So we can select that use the column first column as a header and separator is comma. So simply hit that load button to load this CSV file as a table in the lake house and the table name was department. So you can see that there right. So it is taking the department dot CSV file and creating a table called department. Department table got created successfully. I can see that similarly, I want to create employee table as well. So right click on this load to tables new table click load even this employee dot CSV file. It will create a employee table. We can see that employee table also got created successfully. And when I click that table from the tables folder, it will actually preview the data as well in a tabular format. As you can see ID name salary and department ID. This department ID from the employee table actually points to the ID column in the department file or department table, right? So have that idea. So now what I wanted to do, I wanted to create a report where department wise, I want to see the employee count. So that is my need. So that simple example, I will explain how to do that. So once you have the data in the tables folder in the lake house, click this top right corner, select this SQL endpoint option. When you do that, you can actually see this table with a SQL endpoint. So you can use a SQL queries to query that tables as well. We have seen that in our previous videos. So now when you are having that, what you can do, you can select this new report option and then try to create the table. But before doing that, you need to go to the model and establish the relationship. So in the department table, I have this ID column and this ID column points to the department ID column in the employee table, right? So I have to establish that particular uh, model, the relationship behind the scenes for the Power BI because Power BI works based on a models. So navigate to this models here and uh, it will show both the tables there. You can see all the tables it will show right now we have two tables. So what we can do here the employee ID from the department and the department ID from the employee ID both are same actually. 
So take this department ID, drag and drop onto the ID column of the department table. When you do that, it says department ID column of the employee table, ID column of the department table. And uh, it is saying many to one relationship. That means in the employee table, the same department ID can be there multiple times. But in the department table, it will be available as a single entry. So that's what it is, many to one relationship. So we are good with it. Select that, assume referential integrity, click the save button. So we are creating a model and we are establishing the relationship as well. Once the relationship got established, now you click that new report once again. And when you click that, it is telling that it is going to take all the tables into the model. If you want to manually select also, you can click this where let's say you have a hundred tables. You want to take only three, four tables, then you can do that. So I'm okay with it. All the tables because the two tables which I need are there. So click continue there. So now it created a model behind the scenes automatically. I can click this new report once again. Now it will give me the report editor. Right now the view what you are seeing, it is a report editor and you can see your data here and visuals you can take from here. And this is the place you actually build the report. So let me take this test box option. This is the test box option and add some header. So I selected it and uh, let me select the font size, maybe 60. Now I will type like sample report. Okay. So I am keeping some header for the report. Okay. Then uh, maybe I want to take this uh, column chart to show the employee counts. So I will drag and drop that or I can click that. When I click that, the visual will come here. You, you see that visual came here. Now for this visual, what you need on the X axis, what you need on the Y axis, you have to select from your tables here actually. So right now visual is selected onto the X axis. That means X axis, I want to show the department names. So I will take the department name from this particular uh, table and drag and drop onto the x-axis. When I do that here in the report, let me minimize these filters. It should add the departments. Okay. Now I want to take the count of the employee for every department. So take any like maybe ID column and uh, drag and drop onto the y-axis. So when I do that, basically it is doing sum of, you can see here it is doing sum of what I want count of the employees, right? So select that arrow here. And instead of sum, I wanted to select the count. So count will work for me. Okay. So I can take the count option. And now if you see this visual, it would have given the employees count with the department with the count. So when I zoom this, you see here, see for the sales employees, marketing, R and D finance, human resources. What is the count? If you want to see the count, you can click that. Uh, it that that should also see or when you hover it on the report, right? You see that it says there are 74 employees totally under the sales department. So we can basically we basically created a visual based on the data. So we created a model first and we established the relationship there between the tables and then we selected that new report option that is helping us to create a report. So this is very basic report. Once you create a report, go to the file and click this save button and uh, where you want to save you can select your workspace and you can give a name maybe sample report and hit the save button so this should save the report for you successfully into your workspace now if i go back to my workspace here when i go back to my workspace i should see my report here right and uh, also if i select this sample report i am able to see my report here right so this is how you can create reports in the lake house uh, inside the fabric workspace. I hope you got an idea. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.